some of this out of the way here. We're going to have a covering of breadcrumbs and parsley. That out of the way so we can have a little more freedom around here. Now this is, that's about two cups of fresh white breadcrumbs. That's about half a liter mixed with a good handful of chopped parsley. Now if that doesn't go on first, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm talking too much. I've got to get back my, get back this. This is the lamb stock, and this is what's going to give good flavor. You ladle that in, and be sure that this is whatever you stew your meat in, that it has a wonderful flavor. That's why you always have one bit of meat that's stewed, so that you can get the extra flavor for the beans. And then if you don't have enough, say you didn't have quite enough lamb or other stew juice, then you put on some juice from the beans. Now you have that covered up. Now on goes this breadcrumb mixture. You have quite a heavy crust here because this crust is going to cook. This is going to crust with the beans and cook, and then it's going to be pushed down into them, and that's going to give a nice crispness to it. And then we finish up with a little, a little bit of fat here, and this depends on whether or not you want fat. I think it adds a great deal. I'm putting in, in about oh, two or three tablespoons. That also helps it crust. If you don't want to use any fat at all, you could you could probably baste it with the with some of the juices. It wouldn't give quite the same effect. And so now, what happens? You can get this all done ahead of time, like the day before yesterday, and it's all ready. When it's cool, put it into the refrigerator with a cover, and then before you're ready to go. You want to heat it up very slowly on the stove until it just comes to the simmer, which will take probably 10 or 15 minutes. And the reason you do that is so that you can time it perfectly. And then you take it and put it into a 400 degree oven. And you let it cook for about half an hour or so until it is crusted over. And then when the top is crusted, you take her out and you take a big spoon and you push the crust down into the beans. And then you put it back into the oven and let it crust over again and you put it back into about a 300 degree oven, 350 degree oven, that was 400, which would be 200 Celsius, and then turn it down to 350, which would be 180 Celsius and let it crust over several times ending with a crust for when you're going to serve it. And now here is our first course. These are mugs of hot consomme with little carrot sticks just to give a bit of a crunch to it. And here to go with it is one of those great big Armenian crackers. And to serve it you put it in a round dish and just go Whoa! and then it breaks up and everyone can serve it as they like. Sort of a shame to break it, but it, it's delicious with, with the soup. Then look at our cassoulet. Look at that, isn't that marvelous looking dish, all brown, and we'll just serve that. And very easy to serve, too. Num, num. And be sure that you dig around, but then a the nice thing about it, too, is that guests can do their own digging around and serve themselves. And then with it, here is the cabbage. And this is a pickled cabbage slaw that goes, I think, particularly nicely with the, with the cassoulet because it's nice and crunchy and it's fresh. And all it is is very thinly shredded cabbage that's been pickled with a little vinegar, water, spices, and some very thinly sliced red onion. So I, I think it's an excellent dish, and it also keeps a long time so that you can serve it with every cassoulet you have for some time to come. And now, the pineapple, and you can serve it just as it is, 
And if the pineapple isn't quite ripe, you can always put on a few drops of kirsch or white rum. Then two of them I will leave without their white rum. Or you could use kirsch with it, which is more traditional. So I think this is a really great meal for a crowd, and I particularly like the cassoulet because it's very easy to assemble, as you can see, once you have cooked your goose, or vice versa. So that's all for today. Bon appétit. Julia Child is the author of the book Julia Child and More Company.